just super quickly before we start um this video is way more edited than anything else that i've done before if you do like this type of stuff please let me know with a like or just a comment below it really helps me out and also gives me some sort of guidance of what kind of route i'm gonna go with in the future but yeah enjoy Pain. hey Agony. all right all right all right let's stop talking about my raid experience No, but to be honest, I haven't played these raids for about 14 years, and this is my first time getting into them again, but in classic. Um, we're gonna go through raid by raid, except Baron Hold, boss by boss, except Baron Hold, and sort of talk a little bit about the experience and sort of uh, discuss a little bit about raiding in general and how it's changed from well, classic until now in Cataclysm. So let's get into it. Alright, let's start off with Bastion of Twilight. As a whole, I felt that this was the easier raid out of the two, compared to Blackwing Descent, that is. Now, back in my... I read up on every single boss fight. I read up on this boss fight and just thought, okay, what dragon does what? And which one should you unlock? Now, I came in with the mindset of classic in the back, in the back, in the past, has been... It's easy. So you know what? I'm not gonna read up on shit and let's see how what it goes. Like how it goes. And it was it was disappointing. We cleared this in 40 minutes, we didn't wipe once, I died once, but hey. Radio people can make mistakes. Breath. It's it's like the strats are similar to the to back in the day. Maybe we were just shitty players back then. And maybe that's one of the sort of faults with Classic, it's repetitive. To some degree, you base it off of nostalgia, right? I, I played very much from 2019 till End of Wrath, but I, um, I've i always missed the challenge. Granted, this is normal. All of this content is normal, not heroic. I've heard heroic is, well, more difficult at least. Um, one thing that I was surprised about as well is just... There's still, um, well, I'm not so surprised, but there's still these basic mechanics, right? Since I didn't read up on any tactics, I was just, okay, basic instinct, fire, bad. If there's shit on the ground, move out of it. Um, if m me being electrified, I'm probably gonna move out the group so I don't damage other players. It was, it was kind of like these obvious strategies. Um... But, yeah, and it was kind of funny because that you can get away with it so easily is just, that's very boring. That is very boring. Um, but, but yeah, that, that's just my opinion about, about the raid as a whole. Bastion of Twilight in general, I was very disappointed. Uh, Blackwing Descent, getting into it, uh, it was it was a little bit more fun at least. Um, in general, the normal stuff kind of reminded me a lot of Uldor, um, where that's when we started getting introduced to hard modes or heroic, if you would put it. Um, normal, you steamroll it. Yeah, I mean, first week, boom, clear, easy. Um, and you, you, I remember first week, and I don't, I mean, Old War from like a year ago, not 500 years ago. The, when we cleared it, the first week, I, I was the, I was the raid leader back in the, my guild back then. And I, I was like, after the raid, I'm like, that's it? Like, <laughs> The, the thing with content going too fast is you don't get a feeling of progression. If you played back in the day, then you probably remember that killing a boss, even on normal, could feel like a freaking accomplishment. Like you, you won the Nobel Prize and shit. All right, Throne of the Four Winds is a little bit of a shorter raid. We didn't get to Baron Hall, as I mentioned. 
But yeah, I'm gonna go a little back and forth and just rant a little bit and talk some stuff that's positive. Uh, Conclave of the Wind. Someone told me that I should stand here. DPS boss, 25% jump to the other guy. Did that. I fell down once. Uh, raid leader died. And uh, yeah, we still made it. Um, there's not really much to say here. It's, it was just, in general, it felt a lot like doing raid finder. And normal shouldn't feel like raid finder. Alec here was at least a little bit more stuff that you had to do. I failed. I did several, like, fails, falling down the platform, hit, getting hit with the whirlwind. It wasn't punishing at all. It's just like, oh, it took some damage. Ow, shit, get back up there. Uh, so, <laughs> to some degree, like, when it's not punishing, you're like, it almost feels laughable to avoid an ability. But like, because what the fuck is that gonna do? Like, oh, I get thrown out the platform. Oh, no. I wait five seconds. Oh, my DPS. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Throw the four wins. Alec here was a little bit interested. Again, normal. But, yeah. Alright, Blackwing Descent. This is where things start to get heated up. Put it in. Magma. Even the crash was even more difficult than Bastion of Twilight. You had to stand in the middle if you ranged and healers. And then they just went like this. Yeah. Uh, in Blackwing Descent, I started to remember the strategies. My my boomer brain was like, oh, 40 years ago, whoa, strategies coming back. I read up on one website of strats, but the like the the instructions was kill the boss. Oh, fire move, but kill the boss. And I'm like, oh, all right. And there was a little bit more, like, but there was like two rows of words. That's it, um, of just strategies that uh, what you have to do as DPS, kind of. Um, what what the role of the DPS is? DPS. Okay. Um, but yeah, Black Doom Descent as a whole was uh, way more fun. Um, we didn't clear everything actually. We didn't kill Nefarian. I'm not sure if that's a thing in, in Pugs, but Nefarian's a little bit tricky. A little. We didn't kill it. Raid just started flaming and fucking screaming at each other, and the raid leader didn't know English, so we just disbanded the raid. Hell yeah! <laughs> but, going back to talking a little bit more serious about the, about the whole raid. I miss just progressing through normal, getting into heroic, touching on the heroic boss just a little bit, and then progressing, and then uh, two weeks later you might down it, you go, fuck yeah! I'm Mary was actually difficult, we wiped three times, I think. Um, so, and that felt good. It shouldn't feel that way. I remember back in the day where when you kill a boss, so you felt like you achieved something, like, hell yeah! But now, and you got pissed that you wiped. Now, I'm getting more pissed because we one-shot it. And once we don't one-shot it, I'm like, oh, interesting. I might have to use my brain. Um, so, yeah. Chimera was a little bit of like, oh shit, I have to actually have to wake up here. Uh, Atremius was a really fun boss. Um, someone was hitting the gongs over and over again. Uh, watch out for the discs because they cause sound and avoid them. Um, but yeah, be straightforward here as well. I hope, and I'm gonna try to get into heroic content, and hopefully you'll see me cry in the video so much to the point, and I'm talking tears of happiness, not sadness, that it might actually be difficult. Um, but, but yeah, I, I felt a little bit surprised that I could get away with not knowing anything, not reading up much at all, if anything, 
and just kind of go through it. What it did feel like is, you know, when you gear up to get into raids, doing Dungeon Fighter, it kind of felt like that. No With the side thing of just feeling bad for the raid leader waiting. having to make the group and as soon as one of them leaves, there might be a domino effect. And then you have to sit there for another 30 minutes. But other than that, yeah. And, yeah. All in all, nice that some content was difficult. Or some bosses was a little bit difficult. Um, but I'm also pointing this out. It wasn't just me that was a little bit clueless. There were serve several, like a couple people in the raid that didn't really know what to do. But we still went get, got through it. That shouldn't happen. I think, even though Cataclysm had some really nice raids and people wiped a lot and people just stopped playing because it was too difficult. Because that's what I heard back in the day. Even now, when we're talking about it. Um, I feel like the content war, when it comes to just raiding, you will get close to playing like in retail. You will feel like it's closer to like that sense of progression rather than anything else. I feel like Classic is still this run through shit, get bored in two weeks, and then stop playing until the next phase starts again. Heroic, hopefully, is very difficult. Um, again, we'll see if we're gonna touch on that a little bit. I'm also gonna look through logs. I'm not sure how many people cleared Heroic. Uh, the heroic rating in general. Maybe f a couple of people have done full clears. Maybe majority has done it. I'm not sure, but yeah. All I know is that you're still you're seeing pugs already doing six heroic bosses or something, and world events where they're basically clearing everything within a day or within a couple hours. I mean, Bastion took 40 minutes. I look forward to what's to come. Firelands was a freaking amazing raid. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.